Gojo Satoru could actually die. Ever since its release back in fall of 2022, Jujutsu Kaisen has broken the internet with its beautiful fights, amazing plot, and of course, the very lovable characters. And one of them just happens to take the hearts of millions of fans, both men and women alike. Say hello to the daddy, the poppy, the Chad Satoru Gojo, the strongest Jujutsu sorcerer in all of Jujutsu Kaisen. But will he die? All right, guys, before moving on, make sure to hit that subscribe button ASAP Rocky. And guys, a real heads up here. If you haven't read the manga, there are going to be manga spoilers ahead. Let's go, baby. Satoru Gojo is, of course, part of the Gojo clan in Jujutsu Kaisen. He has white hair, a darkish blue turtleneck jacket with the same colored trousers, a blindfold, and those beautiful crystal eyes underneath them. When Satoru Gojo was born, it was said that he changed the balance of power within the Jujutsu world. He was born with the limitless technique and the six eyes and was the only other member of the Gojo clan to inherit both after 400 years. This man was gifted beyond belief in both his looks and his powers. In the past, he fought against the most famous sorcerer killer, Toji Fushiguro, and even won by using his hollow purple technique, which made Ace's donut hole from One Piece look like a dime. During this time, he also lost his best friend, Suguru Geto, who went full-blown Eren Jaeger and decided that he should eradicate all non jujutsu sorcerers, or monkeys, as he likes to call it. Which honestly, I think we are, no? Now as the strongest Jujutsu sorcerer in all of history and the only one who can rival Sukuna, Satoru Gojo plays a very important role in preserving the peace within the world of Jujutsu sorcerers and curses. However, will there come a time where Gojo loses his life? In the recent chapters of the Jujutsu Kaisen manga, something terrible has happened to our lovable white haired Gojo baby sensei and I gotta tell you, it's not pretty. During the Shibuya incident, a massive battle between cursed spirits and Jujutsu sorcerers, Daddy Gojo fought against Jogo, Hanami, and Chozo. The three cursed spirits use civilians to limit Gojo's fighting abilities as he excels in a vast area of effect spells and techniques that destroy anything and everything in his path. But that doesn't mean he can't fight in small crowded spaces. He's called the strongest Jujutsu sorcerer in history, my guys. After a dance of spells, kicks, and a whole lot of beautiful choreography, Gojo was able to kill Hanami and is now hunting down Jogo. Now, you might think that since he's one of the good guys that he'll help everyone around him, but no. Thanks to Mahito and Jogo's attacks, he decides not to help every civilian around him because, well, he can't. In another flurry of fights against Jogo, Gojo managed to pull off his domain expansion in a matter of milliseconds, destroying all the mutated humans created by Mahito. However, this is where the fun starts. He notices a small cube which suddenly opens up to reveal an eye and a bit of skin. The eye stares back at him and suddenly he hears a nostalgic voice behind him. It was his best friend turned enemy, Suguru Geto. Gojo was still processing what was going on when the prison realm, the box, activated and Geto successfully sealed Gojo. Even right now, in the most recent chapters of Jujutsu Kaisen, Gojo is still stuck in the prison realm. People say he's been trying to catch up to One Piece up to this day. So, will Gojo Satoru die? Of course, there are two options that we need to look at. A. Gojo will die and B, Gojo won't die. There are several key factors that play into this, including Gojo's abilities, his past, the recent events, and the people that he will most likely encounter as the series continues. You already know the drill. We want things to be a bit thrilling, so we'll go first to the conclusion that Satoru Gojo won't die. We always need to explore the other option first because as they say, good news after bad news, you know what I mean? So there's a high chance that Gojo Satoru won't die, especially since he's just been sealed and there wasn't any significant damage done to him whatsoever by Geto. It was even said that throughout the series and by Geto himself that no one can beat Gojo in a fight to death and the only way to stop him is to seal him using the prison realm. There's also the fact that Gojo can use reverse curse techniques. If you haven't been following Jujutsu Kaisen and you're not that deep into it, the reverse curse technique is basically a healing spell in the Jujutsu Kaisen world and only a few Jujutsu sorcerers can use it including Shoko Airi, Yuta Okotsu and Sukuna himself. However, Gojo can only heal himself and not others. One event where he used this was in his fight against the sorcerer killer and Megumi's dad, Toji Fushiguro, who's one of my fave characters. My dude Gojo literally got stabbed in every vital point including the neck and brain. Toji might probably be the only one to land a hit on Gojo and it unlocked his use 
usage of reverse curse techniques which gave him the ability to use his red and hollow purple techniques. After Toji killed off the star plasma vessel, Gojo walked by with wounds healing in every part of his body using the reverse curse technique. The two went on to have a final battle and Gojo ultimately disintegrated half of Toji's body, ending the reign of the infamous sorcerer killer. Bottom line is guys, Gojo can heal himself so whatever tries to hurt him in the future is sure to have a hard time. Remember that Gojo fought four special great curse spirits in one go during the Shibuya incident. The guy even said that he can win against a full power Sukuna. And seeing Sukuna destroy Jogo during the Shibuya incident, we have yet to see a final form and serious Gojo at play. Bottom line in this argument is that there has been no one yet that's obviously strong enough to kill Gojo if he gets serious. And is there even anyone alive right now that can touch him? Now, let's explore the second option, Satoru Gojo will die. Finally, after a whole lot of explaining, and a ton of speculation, we've come to the conclusion that Satoru Gojo will die. There are two possibilities right now. It's either someone stronger than Gojo will be newly introduced in the Jujutsu Kaisen verse, or Gojo will sacrifice himself for Yuji, which will in turn give Yuji the boost he needs to grow and become the strongest. Someone stronger will kill Gojo. Let's explore that one. So for the first one, someone stronger than Gojo will arrive. As of the release of the new chapters, a lot of cursed spirits and Jujutsu sorcerers have recently appeared, but so far none of them have been up to par to Gojo's strength. These new characters are only up to par to Yuta Okotsu and Kinji Hakari who are not gonna lie really strong but they're definitely no Gojo. Yuta defeated a lot of them and even went head to head against Yuji and Kanji. Hakari is also taking a piece of the fun and they're without a doubt a cut above the rest of the shamans and cursed spirits present in Shibuya. Right now the only one that can beat Gojo is 20 finger Sukuna. Sukuna easily toyed with Jogo. I mean this guy just can't take a break. His head was used like a basketball by Gojo and Sukuna burned him to a crisp and his techniques are literally fire and lava. If we go by this, I predict a big fight between Gojo and Sukuna where they both get serious and give each other their all. A big part of Japan is going to be destroyed, a lot of characters are going to die and the Gojo fangirls and fanboys are gonna cry their hearts out. Will Gojo sacrifice himself for Yuji? This one is kind of a wild guess but the way the manga is going right now, I doubt there will even be any screen time for Gojo. So for this one, how and why will Gojo sacrifice himself for Yuji is the question. As we know Gojo values and trusts his students a lot. He specially trained Yuji himself and even had the idea to kill all the higher ups of Jujutsu society when he knew that they were responsible for setting up the first incident where Yuji supposedly got killed. There will come a time where Yuji will be in a pinch and just like how Ace shielded Luffy, Gojo could probably do the same for Yuji. Gojo will either become a donut or join Nanami as Ash in Shuya train station. This kind of ending will probably be a bit out of character for the goofy and sometimes ruthless Gojo but it'll be a side of him that we won't get to see until his dying breath. This incident will also then lead to Yuji unlocking his full potential since he is the son of Kenjaku. Yuji might in turn then be the strongest sorcerer to ever exist and he'll probably even beat the king of curses. So that was it my beautiful weaves. The answers to your questions of will Gojo Satoru die in Jujutsu Kaisen. Those theories were only my speculation and if you have some theories that you think might be true make sure to let us know in the comments below will daddy Gojo survive the end of the series or will his life flash before our very eyes please subscribe right now i'm serious guys do it so you can be ready for our next video